this is Tara and um, Tara tried I've been um, experimenting with resin and I thought you know I've been hearing a lot about this Timu site I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right cheap stuff really neat stuff and I thought well you know what let's try to get some cheap little resin molds to see if they work now I've got some others here that are kind of thick I was going to try to compare to see if these are actually worth purchasing or not and if so you know yay we found another cheap way to do it so let's open this up and kind of look in here i'm kind of excited love getting new packages you know i mean who doesn't they really really take this one together i guess the weather maybe i don't know it's been raining a lot on and off lately it's that time of year but better than getting something soaking wet right here we go all right. Okay, so I got some little poster mold there. Yeah, all right, okay. Oh, wow, that's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. All right, so let's open them. Oh, this is huge. I thought, oh my goodness, I thought this was going to be like for a keychain. You know, little keychains, this is just a little too big for a keychain. Let's open up the mini cow. It's very, very thin. Wow, it's thin. But look at him. He's very detailed. We'll try to do a mold with that. Like I said, I'm still learning. And we'll see how this little filler comes out. But look, isn't he cute? That'll be really cute if it turns out cute. Alright. And then these coasters are supposed to have like little sayings on it. They're awful thin. Let me show you an example of one of the coasters that I've got already here. See, this is the ones that I've already had. See how thick and nice they are. Good and sturdy. This, these, I can already tell there's like four or five of them and they're not even as thick as all those as that one is. Yeah, this is very, very, very thin as well. But yeah, these are neat. Has love do all things with love um, this is my happy place can you see those even here let's move that up a little bit there we go so this is my happy place light's not shining on it just right uh, maybe if i got this green thing behind me i'm going to see it this home is blessed And then the, I guess there's four. One, two, three, four. Welcome to our home. Feel free to be yourself. Um, can barely see it. But these, all these came with this also, which is a holder to put all the coasters in. I have to look up exactly how much all these were. But I would... It's very cheap. I mean, for what I paid for, for two of these, there were two round and two square. I think this set was cheaper, but I'll post it up here somewhere during the editing video process and definitely let you know for sure. So that's neat. I'm kind of excited and disappointed at the same time with this little cow filler. I know I keep going back to it. Look, he's already got glitter. I'm telling you what, glitter become the bane of my existence I mean it's pretty and all but how in the world can you ever get that stuff just to not stick on everything so I've I've learned a little trick with that get you a piece of tape any kind of tape will work and right before you go to pour your resin take your tape and stick it up and you'll get any kind of dust or in my case glitter that may be left over all right, now I got these. My daughter had an idea. She works at a hospital, and they use those name tags all the time. She said it would be neat to have some kind of name tag that you can personalize for your badges. You know, you, you swipe your badge all day long, and you have to have a little pin to pin it on. And then, so that's why I got these as well. You can personalize it and, you know, put it, like, you know, we're in Kentucky, so you can put UK, big... UK, go big blue, and uh, just kind of personalize it there. That was a neat idea. And this 
My hood's been heavy. Oh, wow, this is super flimsy. Wow. So these are the type of holes that once you pour it, you won't be able to move it to um, let it dry. You have to let it dry wherever you pour it, it looks like. Um, he had the idea. He wants a picture. He wants something that he can hang on the wall. Which, yeah, this is supposed to be like a cutting board, but I thought we could use it for this. He can hang it on the wall. And he wanted a picture of all of our little animal uh, family in here. They become part of the family, and we've got quite a few. Two cats and a dog, and let me tell you, they are spoiled rotten. And I like making these little bookmarks. I've really enjoyed making the bookmarks. And I thought, well, it would be neat to get some kind of Bible scripture to go down in them. I tried printing it from my printer, but it didn't quite work out. And I saw these, and I thought that would be neat, but upon further inspection, these are a little big. <laughs> They're just a tad big. But, they would still be cute as little coasters, maybe. In this mold. Cool. And put some like a, I'm not big on gold, but I know a lot of people do like it. I have gold flakes, put little gold flakes around there, clear resin. That would be pretty. But this set here, again, I'll post it up here somewhere. All this that I got was about $20, and that was including shipping and handling. This, these, these, my little cow friend. Is that all I got? Yep, that's all I got. 20 bucks. Shipping and handling. I think that's a pretty good deal. Of course, you know, you all make your own decisions. These are really thin. And it's not the type of thing that, you know, you can move to dry somewhere else. Once you pour it, that's where it's going to be. And I'm going to try to do a video on uh, pouring. Like I said, I'm learning. I'm very, very, very much at all novice but it's interesting to learn and you all enjoy i hope you enjoyed this video and maybe we'll have some more if you're interested about different crafts different things that we can try and even you know going out and getting good deals i really enjoy getting good deals me and my friend crystal we go and do that a lot when we have the chance maybe we'll try to start doing some videos on that but uh, you all have a good one stay safe bye